Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a quick speed run pavilion model. Um, I've prepared something like this for you. Um, we're going to look at a lot of tools, uh, graph mappers, uh, Weaver Bird tools, and we're going to build this uh, automatically from uh, uh, parametric inputs. So it's going to be a fast exercise. I'm not going to uh, dive too much into how this is actually made but we are going to uh, speed run it so I'm, I will try to do it as fast as I could and uh, for those of you who are for the first time checking this channel um, if you're interested in learning parametric design you should consider subscribing uh, I upload a lot of content showing uh, Rhino Grasshopper tools I also do a lot of creative coding too in Python so if you're interested in learning this kind of tools and techniques uh, this channel is for you. So um, if you subscribe, that will um, help uh, a lot. So uh, please consider doing it. So let's get uh, right into this model. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to keep the guy where it is. Actually, we can move this um, somewhere around here so that we can build this around the origin. So what I want to do is build to uh, build an arc. So we're going to start with a point and another point and let's say these are separated along the y-axis and then I'm going to do an arc SED start point end point and a Z vector so that will be our profile for the pavilion then we're going to do perpendicular frames let's go these are the frames and I'm going to divide it into six I told you it was going to be a speed run, so I'm going to go really fast here. Now we're going to place a lot of ellipses on these frames. So let's turn the frames off. These are going to be the profiles for our pavilion. Let's move the guy um, up to a zero height. Um, actually, together, I'm losing a bit of time, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's move him up to zero. Okay, there he is. And we're going to use graph mappers for um, manipulating the manipulating the pavilion section. So let's start with uh, Bezier curves. We are going to multiply these with some radii values. Let's go with five for the first one. And we need a range here. That's going to take the same amount of numbers from the frames. And this goes to R1. And I'm going to make a second copy and it's going to go to R2. And let's actually make them lower at the ends and higher in the middle. So I think this should be, um, they should be circular around the borders and they should be thinner in the middle. So that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, we can also add some decimals here to make it a bit faster. Um, Let's see, this one is, I think, too wide. Um, but we're going to do a little bit of uh, topological uh, uh, changes and uh, shifts to this. So uh, afterwards, we're going to loft our form. Let's go and then uh, divide domain squared and surface um, box. I'm going directly into surface box. We're not going to do um any panelization other than uh, dividing this up and the panel height should be let's say 0 0.4 so we are going to look for a division in the vertical direction let's keep it at 12 horizontal division let's keep it at uh, 10 let's say i think this should be okay and we need a panel to place inside of it now so let's do the panel really quick so I'm going to turn on grid snap, model a box, copy this in a bunch of directions. So this guy goes here. Oops, uh, I'm getting slow. So let's go here. Um, they should be actually snapping each other around the edges. So this, should, this is actually good. Then we do a Boolean union and then we do a mesh and afterwards we explode the mesh let's see turn it on delete the side faces so that we can we can attach them 
side by side and we join the mesh delete the box this is going to be our form so let's put the mesh here then we're going to do a bonding box for this and check how it's going to be mapped so this is the bounding box this is the surface box and we're going to do a box morph this is my geometry reference box and target box now it didn't map it correctly um, because of this orientation so i'm going to tilt it 90 degrees this way and once you see these frames forming up in the right directions we are actually good to go so i'm going to hide these two and one last thing i want to add is um, if you have weaver bird you can actually weld these meshes so you can do join meshes and route and you can add a loop subdivision up to a third degree so that's actually getting us the form that we want right so that's it but what i want to do is a twist so how do we add the twist grab another uh, graph mapper make it linear this time turn the rotation this time so we're going to do 180 degrees and rotate plane so we want to rotate the planes of orientation um, where's rotate plane so let's type in rotate plane so these are going to be in degrees and i'm going to rotate the frames and feed into the ellipsoid now you can see some of the sections are colliding with the guy's head so what we need to do is do some fine tuning here so we need to adjust the radii in such a way that uh, the pavilion form uh, shifts and it also <laughs> my cat is uh, talking and we let's see increase it here a little bit decrease it here well that's pretty much it actually so that's the form that's the twist i wanted to have and one last thing i added was two podiums at the end of the arc so you can do um, perpendicular frame and re-parameterize the arc place a number slider here let's say the first one is at the um, in the beginning of the arc the second one is at the end of it then you can put two circles here feed both of them in um, let's give it a radius which could be I, I think five is too much so let's make it smaller two is fine extrude them in the z direction minus 0 0.5 dot dot 0 0.5 and let's see we extrude these downward well now we can actually move the guy a bit down as well so let's move him down minus 0.5 there it is and we can cap these guys cap holes and that should be um our uh, structure so um we can actually check if the rotation or the twist here is um adjusting fine you can actually um turn this also into decimal and do a bit of fine tuning here so you can see uh, what happens if you reduce the profile in this direction you can bake some forms um, check which one actually looks fine uh, 2.5 seems to be okay let's make 2.8 this one um, I'm actually not going to make it too much let's keep it at 3.43 let's make it 3 and the twist is looking fine i guess this should be it so if i put a geometry container here get the capped um, elements and the mesh and if you bake all of them that should be it so i'm going to disable the script and that's how it's made so that was um the tutorial i told you it was going to be a speed run uh, i want to do this really fast um, but if you uh, if you like content like this please let me know in the comments below uh, if you want to see how things are made in a faster way because I know I also upload some educational content uh, which takes uh, approximately 30 40 minutes to make 
But if you want to see um, some faster videos, let me know. And if you also like content like this, please consider subscribing. I upload uh, videos every week. And um, I'll see you guys uh, with another video um, next time. So uh, take care.